SAP Visual Intelligence provides a broad selection of chart families and types that you can use to create visual representations of your data set. In this tutorial, you will create visualizations using different chart types, and then apply sorts, add calculations, and save the visualizations. Click Visualize. There are two ways to create a visualization, using the menu for an object in the semantic pane, or dragging and dropping objects into the chart feeder or chart body. First, create a visualization for quantity sold by city using the object menu. Click to open the menu for the city attribute. Click make new chart with. Select quantity sold. Click to open the chart feeder. Note that the X and Y axes have been populated. You can further refine the chart by adding other objects. Click to drag and drop the lines attribute into the legend color text box in the chart feeder. Note that the lines are now represented in the legend, and the column chart has automatically become a stack column chart. Next, change the chart type back to a standard column chart. Click the list of column charts. Select column chart. Each of the lines is now represented by its own column. Now change the chart type to a geographic pie chart. Click the list of geographic charts. Select geo pie chart. The chart has changed to a map, with individual pie charts for each location that show the contribution of each line to the whole. Once a visualization displays the data as desired, you can save it for future use and sharing with others. Click Save. A thumbnail of the chart appears at the bottom of the visualization pane. Reset the chart feeder and body. Click Reset. Next, create a new column chart visualization for amount sold by line, by dragging and dropping objects directly into the chart feeder. Click Column Chart. Click to drag and drop the line's attribute into the x-axis text box. Click to drag and drop the amount sold measure into the y-axis text box. You can also apply sorts and add calculated measures to your visualizations. Sort the amount sold in descending order, and include a running average in the chart. Click the list for the amount sold measure. Select the sort descending checkbox. Click the list for the amount sold measure again. Click add calculation. Select Running Average. If desired, you can also change the default look of your visualizations by applying a different palette. Click File. Select Preferences. Click the Chart Settings tab. Click the list of palettes. Select Palette Hue 3. Click OK. Note that the colors have been adjusted to reflect the change of palette. Save the visualization. Click Save. A second thumbnail has been added to the bottom of the pane. You have successfully created data visualizations. This is the end of the tutorial.